So today we are flying over Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and as you can see this city is very beautiful and very large but it is not our main destination for today because our main aim is uh, one of the most famous statue of the world which is Christ the Redeemer and we can see it already in front of us on the mountain there is the statue from this perspective it is it seems to be not very large statue but it is like 30 meter high and the arms stretch like uh, 28 meters so it is a huge statue but in compared to the the mountain it looks not as big as for example in the movies because this is the similar case uh, like the case with Statue of Liberty which always uh, looks so huge in movies in television Azul 479 or 5 heavy contact ground on 121 decimal 7 but in reality it doesn't look as huge as in television the statue is on the peak which is called Corcovado and it has 700 meters and the Christ looks at the Rio de Janeiro and at the sea ocean Atlantic to be exact yeah, and we have it Christ the Redeemer Oh, spectacular view from this perspective. Whoa, really nice. So let's make uh, one turn. Let's go back and see this statue one more time. They started to build the statue in 1922 and they finished it in uh, 1931. So it took them like nine years to, to finish it. And for many years it was the largest statue of Jesus Christ on the world. Initially planned was that the statue or the, the, the Jesus Christ will hold in one hand a globe and in another hand a cross but they changed uh, those initially plans I think that the, this, the, this view makes this statue so popular and famous. Not only because it is huge, but also because of this view. Oh my god, it's really awesome. Christ the Redeemer. Yeah. Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil alright so thanks guys for watching and to the next time